Hello everybody, Minastorm here. Welcome back to Stellaris, the co-dominant human elf campaign. In the last episode, we continued our work on our fleet, getting new ships built. We got some technological improvements. In fact, I was looking at it and we do need to run an upgrade, so we might as well go ahead and get that started. Uh, we declared some rivalries with the Kahark, the Metatron, I think the Ozcox as well. Rivaling us. Did we declare them a rival? Yes. So we're starting to try to set up some political adversaries here. Uh, we need to make sure that we close our borders, which is something I didn't do. I think when you declare a rivalry, it automatically closes borders, right? Yes. Now the Savelli, we probably are also... We, no, we, we rivaled them as well. So yeah, our borders are closed. So don't worry about that. We also began the integration of our protectorate over here. The Lox Ungrak Va Hegemony. So that is proceeding. We've also now set up, well, we're starting to get the colonies that we had planned, established. So that is working. Now, so I think... Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to wait for them to come online and then create a, a sector for them. Turn the sectors off. Um, or if we want to go ahead and just do it now. You know what, I think we'll probably just wait until, um... Wait until those establish. At least the first of them establishes and then we'll, we'll set them up. We just need to wait for the uh, integration to finish. All right, so a couple of other things that I wanted to take a look at, actually. Um, I was kind of complaining about the power that we were losing before, and I forgot that, you know, colony ships cost a lot of power to maintain. So hopefully once those colonies establish, there won't be that big of a deal anymore. We're actually up to plus eight now, so that's okay. Someone also suggested that I could take my armies and land them on a planet. Um, so like one of our, one of our main planets here and that would help them not cost as much, which we can go ahead and probably do that. And one of the other things that we're probably going to need to do is I was taking a look at this a little bit closer for the, the whole Federation law thing. We can't propose any changes until 2284, so until next year. So, And then some of the things that we can do... No resources. Is we can change like the federal legislation. Technology discovered. Let's see. We're in a legislative process, so...
You can choose how things, you know, right now it's consensus, so everybody has to agree. We can send it to majority, which, you know, just a majority of the members of the Federation had to agree, or we can send it to executive, which basically leaves them the control of the Federation president. Um, and then we can say, do like president leadership be permanent? So we can try and make some changes here. Trying to change our federation from a loose collection of sovereign states, kind of like a confederacy, and more to a like a, un a central, like federal government. So, and more as like making the the federation members of a, like a single entity. Uh, we got some tech here. So unrest. I want to see about that. Civics loss plus one. Empire capital complex. That would be nice. Unlocks army strike forces. Strike forces are troops with reinforced armored support, specialized on frontal assault, more expensive. And better trained standard troops. Or plus one of the core sector systems. Lots of very nice things here. Further advancements in capital buildings and influence gain. Um, I think because this is part of a chain, I, I would really like to get the combat training to get our strike forces. But I think we're going to take the Galactic Administration. And we got our Teldar Crystal Mining. Advanced Fighters. Advanced Mineral Processing. That isn't really that necessary right now. Beats Deep Space Station, the Fortress, Sentinel Defense System. I think we're going to go for the Advanced Strike Craft for our carriers. It's going to take 20 months to establish. Many extreme of files, delicious ingredients, hazardous weather. Now that we're at a plus 11, we can probably afford um, some new... See, this really should be first, not second. I've been meaning this changes for a while now. There's some ships here that ships need to be upgraded. upgraded. Okay, so we're at 219, 225, so we have six more points that we can spend. Twenty-seven Eleni class Corvette. Thought we're bringing that up to thirty. Oh, there they are. Merge in. All right, upgrade. Okay, there we are. 20 of the destroyers. 
One Lisa class cruiser. It's like there. Yeah, that wasn't why I was wondering why that wasn't merging. Like carriers, some strike cruisers. Cruiser, battle cruiser, but you bought battleships. Huh, how much does a strike cruiser take up? Ship size six. Yeah, that's perfect. A lot of civilian trade going on. Can we make this proposal now? No. Mm, we can't change this back either. Oh, I don't even think I remember mentioning that we had the Burning Bone High Kingdom join our Federation. Which actually is a very good thing because it gives us a powerful ally on a front that we're very interested in, the Ozcox. Survey Let's see, they have about 11,000 strength our friends here have 34,000 strength. Ooh, we have an election. Um, who's the current? Emrim. Okay. Oral Researcher. Busy commanding. I'll probably just say keep. Spend a little influence and say keep that guy in position. Keep Amrin. Alain Ray. So, yeah, once we get that strike cruiser, we'll be at maximum capacity. Maybe. Survey complete. We have some spaceports we can upgrade in our sectors systems. which will get us some more naval capacity. It just has to be done. Well, we probably actually want to hold off there. We're, we're kind of running ourselves out of minerals. So, we need to be careful about that. Uh, 
All right, let's see. Policies again. Oh, it's still not even 2284 yet. Almost done. New Galvan coils for the better turbo laser, or the uh, well, just increasing damage to our turbo lasers. Survey complete. Alright, so it looks like we are now up to full strength until those new uh, starport modules are done being built. Mandate unfulfilled. Okay, who got elected? Okay, so was re-elected for a second term. These guys even moving? Yeah, they are. All right, turbo laser is done. Archaeology lab. Ion cannon research chain. That might be a good idea. Improve cold fusion power. Then we'll take the ion cannon research train uh, chain. Increases our energy credits by 5%. It's nothing to sneeze at. Initiating communications. Uh, what's this? They would like a 10 year research agreement. We will agree. Oh, there might be one other thing. Yes. One thing I forgot to do. Support independence of the Human League. See, we can't declare war because, well, they're associate. But if we can change some of the federal laws to kind of centralize authority. In a new central government, we can then kind of control how the Federation behaves at that point. Oh, and one thing I wanted to do is over here, on Eris, I think we're gonna go ahead and pass the overload land of opportunity. Construction or is that a Ah, the uh, artist enclave. We apologize, patron Amrim Alayan Ray. We have sadly reached something of a creative roadblock. The enclave is in disarray, and we have nothing to offer this time. We thank you for your patronage, as always. We hope the situation improves. Let's see. Xeno News Network, this edict, happiness plus 10, religious tithes.
How long till we get these guys integrated? Uh, remaining time, 29, 28 months. Okay, so it's, it's coming along. The Salos Iracleos has leveled up. All right. Commanding the Andronikos Kiros. Okay. Base. Oh, 49. Oh, wait a minute. If we can change our war philosophy, we can fight the Valdari. Um. Twenty-two eighty-five, twelve eighteen. Ah, oh, come on. The Valdari would be a huge boon to our Federation. Especially considering our plans with the Ozcox. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they don't like the Burning Bone High Kingdom, okay. Nothing I can do about that. So basically, it was when... Uh, what are our trade agreements? 2385. Right, so basically it's gonna be another Six months. So we switch to unrestricted wars, we invite them. And we have another month and a half before we can make any changes to the federal laws. I was forced to return. The Larongo conservers have closed borders. Okay. Now, we did not get the tech to terraform, right? Advanced atmospheric manipulation is what I need. We have a pretty long way to go for most of our research, though, so... Now, do we have anybody who's gonna be better at Voidcraft? I think it actually would be better to bring you in there. Assign you to that ship. Tell you to assist research. Now the other thing that I need to do is make sure that I stay on the curators. They are still improving our research, which they are.
Civil Space Grants. Now I thought I would have had the... Uh, propaganda broadcasts, no. Re-education campaigns, no. That so unrest option. Maybe that is, is that an edict? First contact, core worlds, populations, refugees, slavery, purge. Migration. Oh, yeah, we can make that a federal law proposal. We will only trust ourselves to lead. We received two votes. And we are now Federation President. Oh, nice. One change to the federal law proposal. Yes. Let's see, federal government law proposal. Let's see. Rule of a single empire. Permanently held by a single empire. Oh, did that? Ships upgraded. I didn't think that was gonna. Uh, that's a bit irritating. I wanted to choose something else. I clicked the wrong button. Oh uh, well, I'll try again in three more years. Construction complete. Unless I have... Fourth battle group. Are these both Federation fleets? I think they are. If you tell these guys to come together at Bovatir? Yes, bring them together to Black Citadel. They need to upgrade their starport, though. Really irritated by that. Uh, that, that, that. That did not work. Those choices were not clear as to what was going to happen. I just wanted to go back or choose a different policy that I wanted to look at, not close the whole thing. Oh well.
All right, I think we're gonna need to create this new um, this new faction or this new sector. We need to make sure that it gets some power, gets some minerals. Oh, is that mine? It looks like it's mine. Get a construction ship over there to take care of that. All right, so for this sector, survey complete. We need a governor. Your lifespan, experience gain, building cost, building speed. I guess we'll go with you. You are also going to be a research focus. Space construction, colonize. I say military station you can build as well. You can redevelop. Go for it. Now when can I actually change this? December of next year. Okay, that's just not going to happen. Not this episode, anyway. We'll probably have to wait till next episode. Mutual rivals, relative power of empires. Now it's down to 50, but it's close. It's very close. All right, hopefully we'll be able to get them into the uh, Federation next episode. So we're going to work towards that. I am, I am still a little bit cranky about that whole Federation policy thing. A federal law proposal. All right, well, we're just going to have to try it again in a few years when it comes back around, unfortunately. All right, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to go ahead and end it here. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.